this is my like four day, I don't know, fifth day with this board. And to be completely honest with you guys, it's a lot of fun. The amount of money I paid for this versus how much I'd actually, like how much I've actually used it is like crazy. So this right here is the Razer X. It's a single belt board and it's really, really nice for the for the money. For the cost of it and for the price of it, it's awesome. I just said for the cost and for the price, those are the same things. So some pros are, it doesn't go, like if you're a beginner getting into electric skateboards like I am, it doesn't go fast enough for it to really hurt you if you got thrown off. Obviously anything will hurt if you fall and stuff, but if you if you were going like at top speed and you hit a rock or something, it would have to be kind of a big rock because these wheels do pretty well on smaller things. But if you hit a big rock and fell off, it'd be kind of, you'd be, you'd be all right. You wouldn't get too much damage as opposed to if you were on one of the 20 mile an hour boards or you know 22 miles or whatever this board's advertised top speed with 100 or no 220 pounds is i think it's like 10 miles an hour let me make sure i get these facts right so it retails on their site on razor's site for 200 dollars which still at this price point is really low for an, for this type of skateboard it's max speed is 10 miles an hour that's correct the battery life says up to 40 minutes on it but people like i've gotten up to like maybe I actually haven't even rode this thing until it's died. I've never fully rode it until it's died, so I don't really know. So it is a kick to start board, one of the boards that you have to push to get going for a second and then you can control it with the remote. The remote, I'll admit, is a little bit weird. I mean, it's not the greatest design and it's not the greatest like control and stuff, but it's not bad. It's not bad and it does, it's kind of variable, like going, like just slowly moving, it does get you going slowly and all the way at max speed, it does and the speed, well, let me get back in focus. The speed ramp isn't that bad either. It kinda is hard to get used to, but it's pretty, it's okay, it's okay. So whenever I picked this thing, I bought this off of eBay. I assumed it was used because it was on eBay. The person sent me with it like brand new in the box and stuff. It had all the paper and wrapping and on it. And I was like, okay, sweet. But I bought this for $105 after shipping. Basically though, it was really worth it. And I didn't, obviously I didn't capture all, all of this footage on um, on me writing it, because I just probably took 30 or four, yeah, maybe about a 30 or an hour long ride on this. And that's still the batteries. You got enough charge, I can do it again. I rode it all the way around my neighborhood. I rode it uh, through a parking lot and then back around again. I don't want to say it's like a morning exercise, because it's really not like, it is an exercise, but it's also like not, because I'm just standing on it, but also, it's better than me just sitting around. And once I get better at it, I will start vlogging and stuff on it. And I'm going to be getting a, I'm getting another tripod soon. One that I don't have to, not this big bulky one. It's and not a bad purchase, but I'll make a review on that later. You guys will see it. So basically what I'm going to say right now though, is if the audio from this camera sounds bad, I'm really, really sorry guys. It's my T3i and it's got some weird preamp noise where it like some hissing. So I've set the audio gain to like really, 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 really low. So it can still hear me, it just won't be as, it won't be recorded as loud. So the preamp is less, and then I'm gonna have to like boost it and post and clean it up. And I'm gonna try and make that as good as I can. Um, the beginning clips and stuff you saw, those are recorded on my Pixel. So I could get some nice smooth B-roll because this camera doesn't do that. I am really trying to purchase another camera. And once I do that, vlogs and stuff are gonna be coming like I've been trying to get done. And I'm gonna be making way better videos and I'm gonna be so happy with it. For now though, I already am, I'm pretty happy, I'm content, I can make good videos with whatever I've got, so I'm going to do that. Uh, little mini rant done. In my room, I have installed a couple of hooks here, as you can see, these are just like regular coat hangers, and I put some command strips up that are kind of uneven, but basically, I did that so I can, because I used to be able to sit the board up against the wall there. But, since it's getting more muggy out and stuff, the wheels are getting kind of dirty and I don't like putting them on the wall. And I wanted something to make it, to get it up off the ground anyways, because it was just weird laying there. So I put these hooks up and this right here is the charger for it. So I can basically just walk in and toss it there, it's on charge. Grab the remote. Drop it remote right here, or if I need this hook for like my jacket or something, I can hang the remote on the hook also, and that doesn't make a difference. It's just a remote. I just like to keep it with the board though, so I don't lose it. 
See right there, as you can see, they're just regular coat hanger hooks, and then I got some command strips just to. And I also kind of figured like, like whenever I start to do some better videos, I can start like getting different angles and I kind of would like these walls in my room not to be so plain so I guess that's like the first step of doing it is hanging that up getting it off the ground I've got the studio foam on the walls over here still need to find something for uh for these walls I think I might just put posters or something up because that seems like the good option so yeah I just kind of have a few things that I've been working on and this was kind of a review this was meant to be done in a really like nice like review style so the b-roll in the beginning and like this was kind of supposed to be the A-roll, but I didn't really record things out like I planned to. I kind of just, because I did have a plan for all this, but I kind of just, you know, went with it, went, just rolled with it, tried to see what I could make up with on the spot. And so far, I think it went pretty well. So uh, one thing I would totally recommend though, is if you're looking into getting into the electric skateboards and stuff, and you don't want to drop $1,000, $2,000 on the boosted board, or even, $400 on like some of the budget cheaper options like if you don't want to if you don't have that money if you don't want to do that there are other options out there I just encourage you to look for them because you can find way better deals than you think you can and what's great is you can find companies that are making products and then whatever their, their products might be like two or three hundred dollars but if you go to eBay you can find them cheaper if you look around you just gotta like find the deals you don't have to sit there and like wait for you know something to go on a flash sale or black friday or cyber monday or something like that just kind of do it and i think you'll if you want it you'll, you'll be fine you'll be happy now what's also kind of weird though is winter is coming up and i don't know how well these things will do on that i don't know how well it'll ride with like the snow on the ground or the slush and stuff but you know i'm gonna try it i don't know if it'll be good but i'm, I'm gonna try it uh in the end i might prefer being in a car because you know it's cold but it's all right, we'll figure it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.